Hi, I'm Bill Gerstel. In this edition of Remaking History, we'll go way back in time to explore a very important invention. It's called the oil lamp. Now, 20,000 years ago, our ancestors spent almost all their time hunting and foraging for food. But in the little bit of leisure time they could get, they did do some artwork and they decorated the walls of caves, most notably in Spain and France. In fact, in that area, there's over 300 caves with decorated walls. What they painted looked like this. The cave paintings are in the caves at Lascaux in southwestern France. They're the most famous of all Stone Age pictures. There are nearly 2,000 pictures decorating the cave walls. Now the narrow twisting caves at Lascaux extend 200 yards into the limestone rock, so it's completely dark inside. For the primitive artist to have been able to work, he or she needed to bring in a source of light. An analysis of the smoke deposits on the walls show that cavemen used oil lamps to illuminate the cave. So people have been lighting up the night with oil lamps for at least 200 centuries. Designing and fabricating a simple oil lamp like this one is easy and fun. But best of all, when you do it, you form a connection with the ancient makers of the past. Now you don't need too much stuff. All you need is some modeling clay, some matches, some cotton rope, and some olive oil. Start with a small, round lump of clay. Now be sure to use regular clay, not the kind made of a synthetic plasticine material, because that type isn't flame proof. Using your thumb and fingers, make a pinching motion to form the oil chamber. Now it might take a bit of time to get a smooth, crack-free surface, but keep at it and moisten with water if necessary. Eventually, you'll need to make a wick trough in one end. This is the area in which you'll lay the cotton wick once it's, you're ready to use the lamp. Well, let's talk about the wick for a minute, because that's a very important part of the whole lamp project. Now, have you ever wondered why the oil travels up from the reservoir to the tip? If you think about it, that's sort of a gravity-defying action, isn't it? Well, it's due to a phenomenon called capillary action, and that results from the attraction of one molecule to another molecule of a similar kind. The forces involved are called cohesion and adhesion, but the important thing to remember is that it's capillary action that makes the wick and your oil lamp work. As you can see, making an oil lamp is really easy. In fact, you can make one out of just about any metal container. Here I've made one from a can of anchovies and a piece of cotton twine. Some people call this a slush lamp. Miners back in the Klondike Gold Rush days would make this kind of lamp out of a sardine can and some leftover oil. Making your own oil lamp is fun and interesting. For Make Magazine and Remaking History, I'm Bill Gerstel.